And so it's really easy after that first flush of joy in your watercolor process to suddenly find yourself feeling discouraged and wondering if you even have what it takes to succeed in watercolor. Hi, I'm Angela Fair. I've been focused on teaching beginner watercolor techniques with an emphasis on a heart-guided learning process. This means we're setting aside the rules and the do's and don'ts and learning in a less linear way. We're learning to enjoy just watching the paint, um, splashing it around and figuring out what it does. And this is such a satisfying way to learn because it emphasizes the quality of the process. One thing that I've learned in my 20 years of learning watercolor, there's always more to learn. There's always another milestone that you want to achieve and another level of mastery for this wonderful medium. With the awareness that as I keep learning new things, that goalpost keeps moving means that I'm either going to be continually striving for something that I can't reach and perpetually discouraged, or I pause and focus on painting and learning because I love it, because watercolor is wonderful and it satisfies this deep inner urge to create. And when I make that my goal, having that quality learning process, I'm able to stay encouraged even when nothing is turning out and it's taking longer to develop that next skill than I thought it would. I wanted to share this with you as a bit of a caution because if you're just getting it started in watercolor, congratulations, you're doing something you've always wanted to do and you're starting to see the rewards, the joys of creating. It's really, so exciting when you realize that you can make beautiful things with your brush and these watercolor pigments. But those happy accidents that get you motivated in the beginning, they feel a lot more out of reach once you get enough uh, watercolor skill under your belt to start wanting to do those things intentionally. So we go from having like beginner's luck and happy accidents to wanting to now intentionally create those moments of magic. And that learning curve, being able to predict what's going to happen, being able to anticipate it and work with the watercolor, that takes longer to achieve. And so it's really easy after that first flush of joy in your watercolor process to suddenly find yourself feeling discouraged and wondering if you even have what it takes to succeed in watercolor. And I wanted to uh, just caution you with this because I don't want you to give up. Uh, you don't need to give up and you don't need to be thinking, do I have what it takes? Those, uh, those questions are irrelevant to the reason you started painting uh, because you really wanted to, not because you thought you were going to be the next master at the medium. As soon as we start uh, getting a little bit good at watercolor, I think we start thinking, you know, I'm going to make a great painting and I'm going to make a great painting every time. I have stacks and stacks of paintings here in my studio that are development pieces that never, never will be framed. They are ones that help me to learn what I needed to know to create that next good painting. Uh, but in the meantime, I had to struggle through uh, maybe 10, maybe 20, uh, maybe even more uh, development pieces to help me get to that point. Watercolor is a skill using the techniques, knowing what's going to happen on the paper, being able to judge how much water and pigment to use. Those are skills that can be developed by anyone with the passion to pursue the hours it takes to learn that stuff. So be persistent, be the one who's too stubborn to quit and you will gain in skill. And as your skills grow, if you're focused on that heart led process where you're listening to yourself and painting for the joy of it, not only will you see your skills improve, but your ability to paint to satisfy you will keep in step with those, with those skills as you develop them. Learning to value the process over the outcome will help you to paint for the joy of painting and that will show in your art. Be patient, be stubborn, make your watercolor painting time a non-judgmental time, a time where you're not judging yourself for whether or not you turned out a good painting. Make it all about just having fun, being there, watching the paint, learning a little bit every day, but also just painting because it's fun. Let's paint because it's fun. And it's amazing how that will influence your work and you'll grow to be a competent and masterful painter for the joyful hours spent exploring watercolor. As you may already know, this 
pep talk and the other videos I've been sharing for World Watercolor Month are just part of my Learn Watercolor the Heart-Led Way online watercolor course. This course contains videos to help you understand watercolor techniques while painting in a more intuitive and heart-guided process. You can find out more about that course at learn.angelafair.com. It's available for sale as an individual course or as a part of my monthly Fearless Artist membership. My purpose here on YouTube and everywhere I teach is to give you permission to, in, to paint in a way that pleases you. One that satisfies that deep inner urge that got you started painting in the first place, that reje rejects self-criticism and paints for the love of the process. Thanks for watching. I'll be back next week with another watercolor video to help you grow your skills and become your own favorite artist. Bye for now.